Hi boys and girls, moms and dads. Jane here from St. Francis de Sales with another story for our story time. Today's story is It's Hard to Be Five by Jamie Lee Curtis. I chose this story for a couple of reasons. One of which was it reminds me of the Disney movie Inside Out because it's talking about our feelings and our emotions. So if you haven't seen that movie yet, I suggest that while you're home you watch that. It's hard to be five. I'm little no more. Good old days are gone. By one, two, three, and four. It's hard to be five. Just yelled at my brother. My mind says one thing. My mouth says another. It's hard to be five. I've got to keep going. My clothes can't keep up because my body keeps growing. At five, I hear no and don't. I can't win. When balls bowl inside at my 10 juice box pins. I'd rather hear try it and sure, I confess. And if dirt is involved, a very loud yes. It's hard to be five. Parents want you all clean. But washing my face makes me crabby and mean. Oof, like dinosaur teeth. It's hard to be five. All I want is to play. I'm starting at school. And I don't get a say. School, ski, school seems scary. School seems so strange. I'm only five. My whole world's going to change. It's hard to be five and wanting to hit. When Scott cuts in line and says I did it. At five, I do things that I don't mean to do. Like when I bit Jake because he cut in line too. Don't do that. Don't hit and don't bite. It's hard to be five. It takes Superman skill. Sitting in circles. Sitting so still. Sitting still. Still sitting still. Still sitting still. You guys who are older than five, do you remember having to sit in circles and being still? You see, I don't know if you can see, he's got little lightning bolts, like an energy coming out of his feet. He wants to move. Sit still. More energy coming out of his feet. And then there's walking all by myself only picked up to reach a high shelf. I walk to the park, I walk to the school, I walk to the bus, I walk to the pool. I walk to karate, I walk with closed eyes. I walk like a ninja, chopping bad guys. It's fun to be five. Big changes are here. My body's my car, and I'm licensed to steer. At five, I'm a worker, a bee among bees. I build things and grow things, say thank you and please. Some fun things are hard, and some hard things are fun. I know when to walk, I know when to run. I know when to stop, and I know when to go. I know when to push, and I know when to tow. Pumpkin, are you liking the story? At five, I can lie down alone in my bed and dream of my past and my future ahead. And when I mess up or do right, it's a start, because I, I have my own mind and I have my own heart. 
It's hard fun to be five, so strong and so loud. Give me five, because I know it. I'm here and I'm proud. That's the end of the story. It's hard to be five. So boys and girls, moms and dads, the reason I picked this story is because I thought you guys are home together, spending a lot of time together. And depending on how small your kids are, they may not yet have the vocabulary or the words to talk about how they're feeling, if they're scared, if they're anxious, if they're nervous. And it was just a reminder that we have to teach kids how to talk about their emotions and how they feel. So, good luck, good night, sleep tight.